Good day, creative friends. Have you ever felt that you're not in control of what you create? That you might have started a painting or a drawing with a clear idea or intention, but things don't always go that route. No matter how tenacious you are, the art leads you in a different direction. As much as I like to think that I'm in control of what I create for my videos, it's sometimes difficult to stay the course. And it's how it went down for me with this piece. So keep that in mind, I'll come back to it. For now, I'm going to talk about uh, adding texture to a background with plastic wrap. And I've tried this technique before, but I was never happy with the results. And it's always nagged at me. So I decided to give it one more shot and I'm happy I did. Um, I'm working on cold press watercolor paper and by the way all the supplies as usual will be listed in the description of this video. So what I'm doing right now is minimizing buckling by wetting the back of the paper first and then um, I flipped it over to the right side and laid it down on a glass cutting board and I added water to the front uh, that's clean water by the way as evenly as possible and when I do this I always use my phone to check for any puddles and then I waited about a minute to let the water sink into the paper before applying the paint my goal was to have the colors blending into each other but with the intention of having three red flowers and a bunch of leaves so I dropped the paint with that in mind. I wasn't totally happy with the color choices that I made. The green gold I used um, in certain areas, it really shows up as yellow because it's right up against the red. So if I were to do it all over again, I would probably try to darken a bit that green gold. Um, it didn't have that reaction everywhere, but you'll you'll notice um, I have two major yellow spots so uh, If you decide to use the same color scheme make sure that you swatch them uh, on a scrap piece of paper Which I usually do but I didn't do it for this piece. So shame on me <laughs> Now I'm paying for this <laughs> It is now time to add the cling wrap and I always struggle with this thing. I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> I even don't like to use it in the kitchen because the struggle is real. But um, yeah, I showed it who's the boss. <laughs> and for this technique to work actually, I should have mentioned that, but the paint has to be wet still. And by playing around with the wrap and by scrunching it up one way or this way or the other way or even pulling at it, you'll notice that it actually removes some of the paint because the paint is attracted to the edges of those folds. And that's what creates this interesting vein-like texture on the paper. Now, the one thing that I get bothered by because I'm impatient is the drying time and unfortunately this kind of technique can only be achieved by removing the film but only if the paper has dried a bit at least on the surface and I'm working on a glass cutting mat which doesn't let the air in and the only way where the air can go in is by the through those folds so overnight <laughs> and the next morning the paper was still quite humid but the surface of it was dry enough for me to remove the wrap and this is what I was left with 
I fell in love with the texture. I think it was quite gorgeous. My intention with this painting was to doodle, but I just I just couldn't see it happening. No, no matter how hard I looked at it in every direction possible, I just couldn't figure out how to introduce the doodles without taking away from the texture or making it too busy. I actually thought of leaving it as is and coming up coming up with something else for the video, but I was out of time. And so that brings me back to what I was talking about in the intro. Deep down I knew what I had to do and the painting was almost screaming at me. Cece, get your crayons out. <laughs> get your colored pencils out. I knew that the only way to work on this piece was to uncover what I was seeing. Or no, I wasn't seeing it, but uncover what I had intended uh, from the beginning. The red was still there. I could see hints of leaves. And I knew exactly how to do it with obviously color pencils. And that's when I made the decision to relinquish control over to the artwork. And if I'm being very honest with you, it's sometimes difficult to do that when it comes to my videos because my mission here is to respond to what the majority of you want to see and that is mainly watercolor and doodling and I'm very well aware of that. And I, I don't want this channel to become too technical either. The main focus is to, how should I put it? is to plant some seeds to get your creative juices flowing by presenting easy and fun projects for all to make, I guess. Um, however, sometimes I don't know my way out of a pickle and that pickle was of the time crunch nature. <laughs> and so here we are with no doodles, no, no, with a non doodled project and probably not everyone's cup of tea. And I don't mean to throw a blanket of negativity on this piece. On the contrary, I do love it. And I'm glad I let the artwork do its thing. So please indulge me with this one. I promise I'll be back with more doodle videos.
I haven't talked about specifics on the shading with uh, color pencils technique because I'm not sure how many of you will be interested. So if you are, uh, you can leave me a comment to that effect in, below and I will put something together if there's enough demand. Uh, maybe not soon soon <laughs> but eventually i will and i will try the plastic wrap technique again i know uh, i'm gonna try to figure out a way to incorporate doodling If I may add something profound to the whole piece, <laughs> um, especially to the my newest subscribers who probably have come here for um, specifically for doodling, just know that I'm I'm coming to you from a place of authenticity and courage, courage to show you something different, and for this I'm proud, and I'm not ashamed to say that I'm proud either. 
And on that serious note, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description for the list of supplies and for the links to my social media. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'd like to, of course, say a special thank you to my awesome patrons for their support on Patreon, where they have access to exclusive video content and a lot more. They make it possible for me to keep producing videos here on YouTube while they support my creative journey, and we are very grateful for them. Please stay safe and healthy, be mindful and accepting of others, keep creating, and I will see, see you soon. I'm back. I'm back because I'm putting the final touches on the voiceover and I just realized something very important happened today. <laughs> There's not one single drop of gold on this painting. How can that be? Who am I? I can guarantee you that the next painting will have gold. Don't you fret. Don't you be scared. <laughs> <laughs>